Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 3. I'm your host, Color Spade. It's episode 43, what should be the last episode, the grand finale, but we have to work our way through Ranger HQ first. So, let's do that. We're going to unselect our team members here and go for some shooty-shooty. Let's, let's put her there. Flambe, you can be here. I have a feeling we're going to want to flambe these folks. Cordite, get ready to run out here and spell some doom. Pizepi, you're right there. Okay, who's this? Private Weddell. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Do we want to... Who's our enemy here? We got a bunch of people here. We got a bunch of them. Okay. Well, guess what? We have spent all this time prepping just so that you can do things like this. It was always about this. It's about being able to get as many people here as we can. Ready? Bye bye. Oh my goodness. It's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. You folks, you shouldn't have. You should not have gone against me because I've been prepping for this moment the whole game when I can just with mayhem, with absolute mayhem, just blow people up and kill a bunch of guys here, can I? Can I get... Oh boy, it's hard. Oh, there we go. That'll do everybody. Your cloud of death and destruction is ready. I got wrench back here. Out of ammo, that's okay. We don't worry about that. You can still shoot some people from there, even. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Finish them off. Oh, Ain't having to shoot my own here, but... 48. Wrench. Bye. Oh, my gosh. She got a lucky one and gets to shoot again. Well, I suppose... armor rally the troops honey cordite you get a chance to do some stuff pizepi why don't you do your storming oh my gosh right there get you two points only two AP darling Oh, she's got this gun. <laughs> that wasn't who I meant to do that with, but... But you know what? We've got plenty of money. Well, I don't think there's any place to buy any more ammo from here, but we can make some. Oh my gosh, that's just devastating, isn't it? Cordite, you might be able to finish that person off while I'm out of range. Doesn't have the reach. What I run up here? That's the way. Like most people, I estimated the power of the melee character early in the game. And granted, he can't do a lot of actual offensive damage, but man, he ends up being a really useful character in various other ways with the max speed and the mechanics and the lock picking being able to throw out stuff being able to throw things out mechanically and toss decoys and turrets and all kinds of other stuff has made him really valuable and so this is one of the interesting things is I was just reading a review on I was reading the reviews for the the DLC that I have, the Steel Town DLC, and I was surprised to see that it has a mixed review score. Really surprised to see that. And a lot of people are complaining because of the quote unquote infinitely respawning enemies. And I thought, I thought that was kind of, I didn't think. I mean, we, you watched me play through it. It's not that bad, but I have a character with a lot of speed who can run around. So, 
if somebody's not using a melee character that can run around a lot, it could potentially be a problem. Okay, you're back to here. 23. 23 Lux Balloons. Let's see, what do we have here? You got, oh yeah, there's people back here. Oh, hey, look, it's Inspector Delgado and Marshal Deputy. And you guys aren't going to have any cover to hide behind, so. And we'll take you and do what we've been doing. Start over. I don't want to use the new cloud on them. These guys are all going to die. Pizzeppi, who do you want to kill? Pizzeppi. That'll get you four AP. Might as well go there. So how many times can you do that? I should have I should have had her. Here, you can do it first. Well, maybe not her. Maybe Lucia Wesson. Because she can go three. She can do Stormer. I'm just going to have her shoot first. And then have her go this. And then Pizzeppi's over here. And she's going to go. Inspector Delgado. Delgado. What about you, my friend? Who can you hit? What's your percentage? Oh, you can really zap some people from there, can't you? Bye. The hot tar melts everyone. Oh, what do we have? We have someone way down there. Okay. How far can you get? Can you get far enough there to see them? Go. Oh, why not? Just use this. Private Smith. Traitors! Ain't no traitors here. Lots of ammo, though. That's nice. Pizzeppi, could you possibly heal this person who's on fire? You got what? You got some mushrooms? What is this? Do you remove bleeding poison? Nope. I don't think there's anything here that actually removes being on fire. That's okay. It's not important. Picklock. Failure. Ooh. So what do we have to do? Where do we have to go? Retake control of Ranger HQ and find a way into downtown. Connie's intel has identified the key areas that we need to retake. Ultimately, we need access to the war room to open a back path to Colorado Springs, but it's locked down by security terminals in the garage, armory, and brig. Oh, okay. So we got to go through the brig. So there's a security terminal back here. Let's go do this. This terminal. So this terminal and the one in the armory, and then we'll go do the brig last, and then we'll be fine. Okay. Cancel the alert. Now we'll go in here. Lead the way, tough guy. This is your job. A little boom boom. Anybody in here? Nobody in here. Cancel the alert. Pick lock success. Car is nine. What's in here? A crate? With some spectrum assault legs. And an incinerator. And an ammo box. Okay, let's go. So we'll go back out here. Squishing over the dead bodies. Yay, we got that. Oh, frozen. <laughs> Miss Pizzeppi, could you fix him, please? Return. 
returning to duty. So this guy to me sounds like Vargir from Baldur's Gate 2, and I have to know if that's the case. I mispronounced the name of the character from Baldur's Gate 2. It's Valgir. But Jeff Osterhage is the voice of the character Valgir in Baldur's Gate 2 and Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Ball. He's an older fellow, and it looks like he stopped acting in about 2010 was the last time he did any work. So it's not his voice, but this guy sounds an awful lot like him. Okay, what do we have here? Anybody fighting? No. Good job, folks. Cancel the alert. Now we can go. Hope Emerson. Private. Now we got the grand finale here. Is that it? Yep, Ranger HQ. Who's... Who is... Who needs to be taken down? Who's red? That private there. Those two people there. A couple of pieces there. Sergi Greatsky. That's the problem. Is you got to fight Sergi Greatsky. So your team here, if you're going to overthrow Buchanan, your team cannot be changed after this. It can't, it can't, your team cannot be changed really. Be, once you go to Yuma, forget about it. You're not changing your team because you're going to kill Greatsky and he's your last chance to to do any of this. So I'm going to head up here and see how many of these people we can get. There's a robot over there. Oh, and there's a person. There's a robot over here, a servitor robot. So, oh, now's the time. Oh, no. Oh, what's it doing? Get out of the way, servitor robot. Are you going to move again? Are you going to head out? If it moves, I can shoot. Oh, it's not going to, is it? So all I can do is really go for Great Ski. Sergei Great Ski. Well, then go for it. Sergei. Okay, where are you at? You're right there. What do you got? There's Sergei Gretzky, but if you... This person's right where I want to be. You got an 87% chance to get him there. Or from there. 95. But you can't see him there, can you? Is it 95? Oh, it is. You have a 95% chance to hit him right there. Okay. Well, that didn't quite do what I was hoping it would do. In that case, you, my friend, rally, buddy, and save the nuclear drop. I'm going to hit you guys like this. That's right. Killed you. Kill G. Get down here. Got this person here. Got Pazepi. Ooh, Pazepi could do a little damage. If I could get her over here. It's four to get over here. Four there. Four to there. Let's go here. I'm going to hope that I'm in the right spot. Okay, free one for her. Oh, I, I'm going to hit that robot. That's what I was hoping not to do. Right like that. Okay, now... Free one there. Oh, almost dead. Very good. Miss Wesson, would you please take down this clown? Oh, you should do the same thing, though. You should move. It's going to be, what, two, two AP, three AP there, two AP there. Get your free shot. Okay, Stormer. 
That's what we're doing. We're killing. 60% or that one or that. Okay. You, my friend, you're going to have to do something then. 83% to hit Great Ski. Do it. One more shot. Do it. Can you get this one? Not enough AP. Alright, in that case, Cordite's on you. I want you to toss a decoy right there. And I want you to go over here and get this person. Stun them, please. Mega crit, nice. Not enough AP. There will be. Everybody else, just reserve your AP. Oh, that person's running away. Taking the pain. I didn't either. I thought all these people would be on my side, but they're a bunch of punks. Is this what we gotta do? Party bot. Lighten us up. That guy's gonna die by pets. Yep, it's destiny, alright. Supercomputer at range HQ. Secure locked. Identify yourself as command and disable the system alert. Apparently the rebels weren't able to remove your command privileges, so you disable the lockdown. The lights and sirens stop. The computer's main menu appears. Whoa, good work, cowboys. Okay, now to get the truck sent downtown. Look for a button that says emergency evacuation tunnel, or something like that. Navigate to the vehicle evacuation tunnel menu and get to work. You queue up commands to open the vehicle evacuation tunnel and send your truck to the terminus point, market square. But as you hit execute, a message flashes. Warning, command queue paused. Vehicle cannot be delivered to market square elevator. Security override in effect. Access terminal number museum 06 to terminate override. Well, shit. Looks like the patriarch anticipated us. Guess we're going to have to get to that terminal and kill that override personally. Fortunately, I know where it is. Kinda. It's in the museum. We know where it they is. They got it hidden away inside a secret room in the Patriarch's little museum. Our people here will move the truck to this end of the tunnel, and once we cancel the alert, it should come right to us. Which, I admit, isn't quite the same as rising up into the square in the truck and catching Buchanan with his pants down. At least we'll have the truck, right? Come on, let's go. We will have the truck. Alright, then. I don't need to fight all those people again. I think all we gotta do is get the hell out of here. It's very sloshy. Alright guys. You get the truck ready? Manage squad, cancel, exit to world map. I don't wanna do that, I just wanna go downtown. So sit down here. Leave all the rest of those guys behind. 
downtown Colorado Springs. Yeah, so I've heard the max level in the game is level 30. It's the end. It's time to end this one way or another. It says, yeah. So I imagine if you do the... I don't know how you would actually get to level 30. It doesn't seem like there's enough experience points. Maybe if he really pinged intelligence from the beginning. And even with the other DLC, I'm just not sure there would be enough. We don't have the one DLC. We only have Steel Town, so... The Down patriarch is a tyrant. Springs. This is our time to rise up. Shame it's come to this, Rangers, but I won't stand by and let you destroy what's left of America. Mm. Oh, I needed maximum kiss ass. Hold on, how much does my character have? Oh, son of a gun. Okay, we'll do this real quick. After all we've done you for each other, you can't look the other I way. I help Saul build this nation. If you think I'll let you put him aside just because we was friendly for a time, you're dumber than I gave you credit for. I won't like killing you, but it ain't gonna stop me. Marshals! Open fire! Okay. This could be very bad. Well, there's a bunch of people over here. Okay. I would appreciate it if all you guys would gather into a nice tight little circle right over here. I'd appreciate it if you guys would stay away from them. Oh, I just ruined my plan. Yeah. after the marshals they don't like them folks that power armor <laughs> so a kiss ass score of 10 would have got some kind of other alternate outcome there maybe we we could have prevented this battle in the first place. And of course, if you're going to do the November rain ending, then she'll be on your side. you got to talk to her before you go to Yuma. I wanted to look and see what her kiss ass is like. Skills, eight points. Oh, yeah, there's no way to get her kiss ass up high enough, is there? Even if she had the, the best we could do is seven. We could have put, put six points in there and we could have done this. So she couldn't have got to 10. I got to keep in mind on that, though. It's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, then. Pizzeppi, my darling. This person up. You need to kill someone. Who do we get? Share Daisy? Hmm. Sheriff Daisy? Marshal Deputy Marshal Torres. 95% to make that person go away. Okay. Pizzeppi. You can do a lot of stuff here. You can run up here. It's five no matter where you go. That's four. That's four right there. You're 63 and 95. Okay, do it. Now, let's take a free one from him. That's the way we like it. Try to hit her. Okay, you're not going anywhere else. I might just wait on that one. You. Yeah, see. What happens if you go... What's your best? 53% is the best you can get. I don't want to hit those innocent people. I really don't want to hit them with his machine gun. You move over here. You got the other guy on a 95% one. There we go. Try to do her with the precision. 
Okay. Alright, that's pretty good. You're gonna rush on in here, bud. Go, Cordite. She's on fire. So make her bleed. All in a day's there you go. work. Good job. Pizzeppi. Take him. Come on. Is everybody gonna get up here? Let's go. Pizzeppi, try again. You wanna heal him, darling. And you can heal yourself with a little. little food. Alright, and you got skills to level up. Automatic weapons. Doink. That's what we've been waiting for. She gets an extra three points when she kills someone. We can give her awareness. To, oh yeah, so she's pretty much maxed out. And what is she? She's a level 26 gunslinger. That's nice. Pizzeppi is hanging on point. She's up here now, Perkland. What is she at? She's got that. The only other thing to really give her is current resistance. She doesn't use any of these small arms things, so. Crit resistance, darling. Skill, she's maxed out on that. Animal versus small arms leadership. She has, she has what, three points? So, she's maxed out here on this. So, max out luck. Alright. And then here's where we get something really sweet. There's a... Daisy has a really nice rifle. This thing, Daisy's assault rifle, requires nine automatic weapons. And it should be better than what she's using. Yep. Times five. So 58 times five does fire. Oh my goodness, darling. Yes, what's it used for ammo? 556. Great. All right, let's modify it. Make it do even more damage. Increase your hit chance with it. There's no there's no scopes. And I don't have a magazine. I could craft a scope. So we go down here to weapon mods. Let's see. Weapon mods. There's a magnifying scope. Magnifying scope. Can't make that. There's a Farsight Computer Scope. I can't make that. Weights, Grip, Rifle Barrel, Holographic Scope. Can't make that. Red Dot Scope. I can't make. Shortened Barrel, Suppressor, Spec Ops, Laser Sight. I can't make. So I can't actually make a scope. So that's what you got, darling. All right. Well, let's go get things done. We're almost there. We are almost there. You, lead the way. Oh, hey, while you're here, pick up some stuff. Supplies. Very fun game. I've enjoyed every minute of this. It's just a rare treat to play a game that is this well constructed. Shit. That big tank's got us pinned down. Should we make a run for it? Move, we're toast. In the name of the Patriarch, I order you to surrender. We're wise to your tricks, assholes. If we step out, you'll kill us. Step aside. I'll handle these workers. Oh, Patriarch. Guess what I'm going to do to you. <clears throat> you troublemaker. I knew you were bad news the moment I met you. Sounds like there's trouble in the old museum. Please walk to the exit. I don't think I will. Lick, lock pick failure. Lock pick impossible. Because... Please walk to the exit. Folks. What do we gotta do here? Oh, I gotta have somebody over here. Okay, you. Go there. Rest you. Come with me. 
Come with me if you want to. Press the big red button. Yay, computer terminal. The computer screen flashes a red warning. Emergency lockdown. Blast doors locked and elevator functions disabled. Cancel lockdown. Please enter admin ID and press cancel. Nerd stuff. Find a way around the password and cancel the alarm. The lights and alarms stop and the warning on the computer screen stops flashing. In its place is a message. Lockdown canceled. Blast doors unlocked and elevator function restored. Q commands will now execute. Thank you, administrator. All right. Let's go, folks. This is it. The big showcase showdown. Bring it. Yep. Open the door. Oh, I'm going to enjoy killing you. Surprise! There you are, you grievers. What have you done? We had a deal. We did, but you ended up being a slime ball who needed to be put down. It's not the range way to help warlords and dictators, even though we're helping ironclad cordite. Shh, don't tell anybody. Even if they call themselves by prettier names. Pretty name we use, fellow, since you seem to be so short of brain space, is Desert Ranger. For 50 years, I've been the one man to keep civilization alive in the West. No one else has achieved that. Not even your vaunted Desert Rangers. And now, you want to destroy it all? All that's left of old America? What? Oh, well. The only thing we're here to destroy is your way of doing things. Coloradans need to say in running of Colorado. You goddamn children. How naive can you be? Colorado needs a firm hand. Democracy won't work here, Rangers. Not yet. We're surrounded by... Mad savages. <laughs> I almost want to step aside and watch you try democracy here. The first war band that comes out of Kansas, boom. Elections canceled, martial law is instituted, and you're the next patriarch for life. But no, I don't toy with my society or with the lives of my people. I protect them from lunatics like you. That's why you have to die, Rangers. That's why this has to end here. Marshals! Attack! I agree. It has to end here Enemies and it's gonna... Alright. Now the question is... Exactly how do we want to do this? The Immaculate. Yeah. About that. And there's Adamant. Okay. Well, the most important thing is going to be disrupting that right away so and that's going to require the services of our friend the flamer she need to turn this on you need to be able to shoot at someone can you shoot at anyone from there no you cannot okay can you get a shot at anyone from there you can get a shot at someone from there and that's it okay lucia you know what that means you got to do the first round of, of charge ups. So this will leave you with one. So you might as well smoke them. Light them up, as they say. Darling, put this person in the ground. Just like. That was part of the very beginning of making this work. Okay, so I've got three idiots over there. Three idiots over there and two idiots over there. I know how we're going to do that. 
Can you get up there and shoot at that thing? You cannot yet, can you? Oh no, it's him. Him is the one I want to do. He can get up there. That puts him at five and he can reach it. He can reach it from there. Good. Go. It's all about you, buddy. It's one of the most crucial, critical, important skills in the game right now. Stick it. Please. 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 There we go. All right, pressure cooker has landed finally. It takes it a while for it to do that. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, and you had a broken hand. Oh, you big dummy. Should have fixed that. That's okay. You. What do you got here with your bonuses? May range damage bonus 20%. And for your first turn, you can move up, but we're not going to have to. Oh, you need to reload. Oh, we did. We weren't reloaded. Oh. That's a damn shame. That's okay. We're gonna move you up then anyway. That was ill prepared. Oh. Did that hurt? Did that hurt you? I could chuck a grenade. Do that. A little bit of extra damage there. Okay. That means you can get up here. Can you shoot them from there? You can shoot one guy. You can shoot one guy or you can prep. You can shoot him? He's out of range. Oh, son of a gun. Okay. Well, why don't you do this then? I like this plan. Smoke grenades. We haven't used a lot of these in the game. Uh, you're going to save your two points. Pizzeppy. So do we want to have you go over there and try to kill these guys? Or do we want to have... I think what we want to do is have Cordite go over there. And we want to have him throw some stuff. What's it cost to throw this? Costs a little bit to throw that. You are going to get back here and save some points. Save a point. I know I'm waiting. I'm waiting to use this to figure out who to shoot until until everybody else is done. You're going to wait. So, Pizzeppi, over here, I think you could probably help finish both of these guys off. And then you can get behind some cover. You get better. You get 95% right there, but you're only going to get one shot at him. Or you get crappy right there. Hmm. Go. Do it. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen to you. I didn't think it would. Okay. You can go get behind some cover then. It'd be dumb to leave you there. Let's do this. Let's mow you down. I can stun you guys with the goat stunner. Okay. Save a point. Two points for next turn. Ironclad Cordite. I want to toss, have you toss something out here. Right there. Then you're going to run up and destroy that thing next turn. Prepare. Ice spike and their slow. 
Oh, did the enemy get to do anything that turn? No. Oh man, I enjoy watching you guys die. Oh, Russian robot and toaster are going wild. These guys sound like they're at Little Vegas. Visiting 10. Oh, Cordite, you monster. But I got a better plan for you. I think you might do better up there. Okay, so first off, we need to damage some armor. That's nice. Boss, can you see anything from there? There you go, right there. It's a marked target, but it still won't. Well, no, it will. Take them down. That fires off that. Awesome. Go and let's see. Oh, it doesn't work. It only works on this one. Oh, so I got precise damage or this. Oh, well, let's do precision damage then because this has a bigger chance of doing critical damage. Reduces the target's hit chance by 25. 50% chance it deals plus 50% bonus damage and reduces the target armor. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Well, so be it. Pizepi, this is probably going to be on you, darling. I'm going to storm you out here, baby cakes. Because you are the menace. That's a thing of beauty. Well, there, patriarch. Gotta hand it to you. You're a bunch of tough sons of bitches. Too bad you're not smart enough to see that you're dooming Colorado. Why ain't dooming Colorado? Who's gonna hold things together when I'm gone? You? Your red-headed friend? <laughs> not one of you is hard enough to do what needs to be done. A hard leader thinks hard is the only way to do things. A smart leader finds other ways. If only you were smart instead of just a smart ass. <laughs> you haven't saved my people. You've killed them. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> the ends can't justify the means, Buchanan. You can't build a just society by doing unjust things. You can't build any society by only doing just things. While you're making sure nobody's oppressed, the warlords of the plains are going to ram a hot poker up your ass. Dude, I'm so tough that I just kicked your ass. You think I'm scared of the warlords? No. Anyway, good goddamn luck. Whatever you do, you'll need it. Now what are you going to do with me? Hmm. <laughs> Hand the patriarch to the mob. People outside are calling your name. Who are we to deny them? I'm sure it's hell not going to exile you and let you turn into another warlord. That's all you're going to do is run off and form another gang. So, bye, patriarch. The people, huh? So be it. Let's go. Well, that's that. So what's the plan now, cowboys? You gonna stay here and help me keep this place peaceful? Hmm, let's see. We want to invite General Woodson and the Arizona Rangers to move here. We can use all the help we can get. Hmm, the General will likely skin me alive when he gets here. Maybe it's time I moved on. Oh, and if I had a kiss-ass nine, I could do something else. Oh. If that's what you need to do, good luck. 
Thanks for showing us what was really going on here. My pleasure. And I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Look after yourselves, cowboys. You got a wild ride ahead of you. You head to the palace radio room and place a call to Woodson. Really? And now we're just waiting. This is this is a funny way to end it with this little song. What we did in Colorado on the trail. <laughs> if we saved them or betrayed them, if we did the job we went for or we failed. We did something kind of in between. <laughs> Hard times in Arizona with the rangers and the settlers giving ground. To the raiders and militia, and it seemed we'd lose the good life that we found. Then you can and made us offer, buy my kids, and I will help you save your land. So we rode for Colorado, praying that he'd be an honest man. But he wasn't too bad. In Denver we found Valor, a son who didn't live up to his name. That smart-ass twat. He turned against his father, siding with the old man's rival seeking fame. Them dumb kids. Though these rivals tried to stop us, <laughs> we captured Valor like we said we would. And brought him home to Daddy, who made it pretty clear before he stood. The, the Ronald Reagan thing. Max Hedrum, that and was pretty we funny. We made our way to Aspen to find Buchanan's misbegotten son. Sick old name of victory and pull the legs off you was just a fun. Probably started with flies when he was a little kid pulling the wings off him. Though we promised not to kill him after seeing what he'd done, he had died. That part's true. Which brought trouble from Buchanan. We didn't notice any others cry. Oh, that's funny. On the track halfway to Kansas, we found you Kansas daughter make a plan. This is kind of cute. To conquer Colorado with the help of Desperado gangs and clans. In a Mad Max sort of way. Though she swore she'd not surrender, we promised not to end her come what may. Shot the folks around her, then bound her, and we took her from the free. Because we passed a really high speech check. Yay. In the end, it became clear that Buchanan was no better than his kid. And the apple don't fall far from the tree, does it, children? If we let him stay in power, Colorado would be heading for the ski. There'd certainly be a lot of bloodshed. When he stepped down, just buying orders from back home, we gave him to the mob and took his throne. Then brought the folks from Arizona to share our brand new Colorado. I mean, we got a big building and a computer. What's not to love? We saved them or betrayed them If we did the job we went for Or we failed But when the winter turns to spring The news newcomers bring They'll know That the rangers are inviting them To join them in the Colorado snow And there you have it, folks. 
the end of Wasteland 3, by far one of the best games I've ever played. As promised, he handed the Patriarch over to the people he wronged. The refugees and lower classes of the city who were all too happy to have him. They organized a show trial, but the outcome was preordained. The Patriarch was sentenced to die of exposure in Pillory Square. He remained defiant as they placed him in the stocks and as the people gleefully pelted him with snow and rocks. To the end, the Patriarch insisted that he had done everything for the good of his nation, and he regretted nothing. He lasted nearly a day in the pillory before freezing to death, far longer than any ordinary man. Using the radio equipment at headquarters, you were able to contact General Woodson and make your report. He was shocked to hear the outcome of your mission, but after consulting with the other rangers, he agreed to join you in Colorado. The rest of the rangers crossed the mountains safely this time and made a new home at Peterson Air Force Base. You had no shortage of new recruits. Every ambitious young person in Colorado wanted to be a part of the rangers. Angela Death slipped away before the Arizona Rangers arrived. Her squad took a vote, and all of them decided to join her. They set off for the east, looking for more folks who needed their help. In Colorado Springs, the refugee population rose to dominate the city. They didn't have any love for the Rangers, and they resisted you from the start. Fortunately, you'd won the respect of Gideon Reyes and the Hundred Families. They proved to be loyal allies, using their considerable resources on your behalf. The situation in Colorado Springs remained tense, but stable. The rest of the Patriarch's nation collapsed, and his alliance of cities and cults scattered to the winds. If they can't be brought back together, they'll be easy prey for the savage gangs of the plains. Or predators closer to home. In Denver, oil drilling came to an end because you destroyed the Gippers. The cities and towns of Colorado were left without a reliable source of fuel. I think if we go back, if we would have gone back there, Fishlips was there. I think that's what you need to do is have a conversation with him. Your actions at the machine commune convinced the robots to take a chance on humanity by welcoming human settlers into the airport. Even the hardheads who had moved into the Gipper stronghold as you agreed were grudgingly impressed. The robots sold fuel to everyone, even cannibals. The Reagan AI remained in the MI Tower, sad and alone, forever calling for his beloved Nancy's to take him home. Led by the gift, the breathers withdrew into the Rocky Mountains. They kept their distance from the people of Colorado, moving higher and higher into the mountains as generations passed. In time, the breathers became a legend to the people of Colorado. Some said they were evolving into a new form of humanity. Others didn't believe that they ever existed at all. Under the Rangers, Aspen became a fortress at the edge of Colorado territory guarding the mountain passes against incursion from the west. Soldiers posted in the old resort town claimed to hear the laughter of Vic Buchanan at night and the screams of his victims echoing across the mountains. Liberty Buchanan remained in solitary confinement, closely guarded by the rangers. Lesser people might have lost their minds, but Liberty was serene, calmly greeting her guards at the start of every shift. Some guards have gotten a little too friendly with her, and you've been careful to reassign them. You'll have to watch Liberty carefully for as long as she lives. With no one in charge, Steel Town fell into ruin. Its workers dispersing into the wasteland. People looted the factories for scrap, and it became a haven for petty warlords and raiders. In time, no one remembered its purpose anymore, and Markham's dreams for the future died with her. Flab and his monster army maintained control of the bazaar, an unexpected island of stability in a region remade by you and your team. 
Flab took great satisfaction in the knowledge that he had outlasted the Patriarch. Once again, he had weathered a terrible storm when even the most powerful man in Colorado had not. Furious with how Team November dealt with the Patriarch, Jody returned to Arizona glad to see the last of Colorado's snow and ice. But though she did her best to help her folks when she got back, without the Patriarch's promised supplies, their farm failed and they were killed by starving raiders, leaving Jody a bitter and angry woman. Freed from the brig by Team November after the coup of the Patriarch was complete, Quan left Colorado Springs in disgust. Eventually, he became a security consultant for the Iron Thunder Arapaho and never had anything to do with the Rangers again. With things with the Patriarch finally settled, Lucia decided to remain a Ranger, continuing to patrol and keep the peace and to serve as their liaison to the Hundred Families. After years of loyal service, the Rangers retired Morningstar and allowed him to drive his Kodiak shell on his long dreamed of journey to rediscover America. No one knows where he went or how far he got, but there probably aren't any communists there anymore. After staying to witness firsthand the fall of the patriarch, ironclad Cordite did as he promised to do and took the gangs east, where he at last began his bloody campaign to rule all of Kansas. Giuseppe did not stay in Colorado. She returned home to Darwin Village to help her people prepare for the long, dark years that followed the Rangers' abandonment of Arizona. All of Colorado breathed easier when Victor Buchanan died. Since then, his grave has been more besat than any other in Colorado history. After things resolved, the Rangers noticed Scotch Mo was no longer with them. They searched every bar in Colorado Springs, but never found him. Some say he's been seen drinking in saloons in Kansas and points east, but these rumors are unconfirmed. With that, the story of Team November comes to an end. For good or ill, you change Colorado forever, and its people will live with the consequences. But the story of the Rangers goes on. Well, I certainly hope so. That has been one of the most amazing games I've ever played. It's certainly been one of the most amazing turn-based tactical team-based games I've ever played. I'm just thrilled to death that I finally started playing it, that I cracked it open, and that I was able to experience it. It is... Wow. Brian Fargo, Studio Head. Chris Keenan, President, Matt Finley, and you guys, Aline Campbell, Tim Campbell, Executive Producer Ray Cobo, you folks did an amazing, amazing, amazing job, and I can't wait to see what you do next. I really hope there's a wasteland. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Just keep bringing them out. I'd love to see where you go with the series next. I just am so excited about how smooth this game is. Wasteland 2 was, was good. But I felt like it was punishingly difficult in certain places. And I felt like it was just wasn't as polished as it could have been. But this game feels polished. It feels so carefully handcrafted. Every encounter where everything is placed. Barrels, geography, weapons, weapon balance, skill balance. The whole thing. It just seems so well put together i thought steel town was awesome i can't wait to play through it a few more times and try to get some of the other endings and unlock as much as i can from the game it is phenomenal additional writers chris avalone was on here matt wallace that's the name right there as it scrolls to the top of the screen matt wallace wrote the book savage legion and then savage bounty and i can't remember what the name of the third book in that trilogy is but you should go read those if you like fantasy matt is a fantastic guy i follow him on twitter he's absolutely awesome i'm so happy to see him be on this game this is just great i love it this is in my top 20 now for top the top 20 games i played in my entire life this is in the top 20 um and it might might end up being higher than top 10 
It's just amazing. I'm going to do a top 20 list soon, I think. I think what I want to do is every single time a game cracks into the top 20 and makes me change the list, I'm going to do an updated video for that. So look for that. That might happen. All right, everybody. I appreciate all of you who watched the series from beginning to end. Those of you who were regulars along the way and left comments. BH, thank you so much for so many of your helpful comments that you made early in the series, especially to help me along. It's been fantastic. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave questions and comments down below. Please consider supporting my Patreon. Just a couple of bucks is all. There is no minimum. It really helps me. It's helped me put together some new hardware over the last couple of years here to do all this streaming that you all do, all this video recording that you all enjoy so much. So there's that. And I'm finally going to sign off now and say, as always, until I see you again, happy gaming, everyone.